Faith McDonald is the Director of Advocacy for KGI Global, and she has been working tirelessly with underground churches in Afghanistan to get more American Christians, interpreters, and informants out of the country. Faith connects people to each other with the mission on the ground, and she joins me now to give an update on how things are going. Faith, God love you for what you're doing to help so many people. I mean, I really feel like your efforts are, I mean, it's the last chance that so many people have, and I, they kind of look at you as a saving grace. So thank you so much for doing what many cannot and will not do. Well, thank you so much, Dana. Thank you for talking about this. And I have to say to you right away that I am just a tiny cog in this giant wheel and that there are amazing people who are doing this work um, and God just used me to connect them with each other. What is the what is the state of of things over there? Because I know we still have some. I know we still have folks over there. Um, some friends of ours. One of my friends is Tim Kennedy. I know that he's been over there helping with people. I know the folks with the uh, the Operation Pineapple Express, where people were showing pictures of pineapples to try to get through and get evacuated. But we still have people left. There was a piece that I read this morning from yes. the Washington Free Beacon or this afternoon that said it kind of seems like the numbers sort of lowballed. The number of Americans still left over there and. And of course, we're still he we're hearing about Christians who are being persecuted. And even the phrase used is hunted down. What can you tell us about yes. that? Uh, it, it's horrific. It really is. Um, there are people who are working, different organizations and Christian ministries who will not give up. They just will not give up. Um, the Christians from Afghanistan who are really the underground church um, are definitely being hunted by the Taliban. Uh, many of them, there are organizations who are trying to get them out and are getting some of them out, thanks be to God. Um, there are others who have said, we are going to stay. We want to share Christ with our neighbors. We want to even tell the Taliban about Jesus. I mean, it's like, it, they, they are sacrificing their lives, but they really feel that that's what God wants them to do. And I've heard about miracles as well. People who who have, um, you know, the, they thought they were gonna be killed and they weren't killed, or people who have been trying to get out on ground and God will reveal to them in some way, don't go this way, go this way. And they'll, they'll have made a way out. But yes, there are heroes. There are true, true heroes, former special forces guys, um, veterans who are trying desperately to get both the, the underground church people as well as their former interpreters and people like that. That's how I first got into this. I was um, asked by a, 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 an Anglican chaplain who works with the military, who is military himself, to be part of a, a Facebook group um, of military people, veterans, who wanted to try to help their interpreters and things like that. And I started filling out Excel sheets, which is not my gift, believe me. I would have panic attacks trying to fill in all those little squares. Um, but those God equips the be... called, Faith. He equips the called. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. He did. He, he did. And I, what I didn't even know was those were the things that would be turned into flight manifests for the different wow. flights. And when the US government stopped sending people out, there were these wonderful groups like the Nazarene Fund and uh, the Vulnerable People's Project, the Shy Fund, all these groups that are, are using planes and wonderful, generous Americans who have given so much money for this. Um, it's, it just blows me away. And you know, you watch, watch Glenn Beck talk about it and he's in tears. And you see people like um, Pastor Robbie Dawkins, who helped start the underground church in Afghanistan. And he's in tears because people have been so generous. And, and you know, I, I have dealt with evil for 27 years. I do advocacy for persecuted Christians around the world. But I've never been as angry in my life as I've been about this mm -hmm. Afghanistan thing and about our government, unfortunately. Uh, tell me how people can help Faith. How can people help mm -hmm. this effort? How can they help you? What, what can people do? Well, first and foremost, pray. Um, and then give. Um, uh, Glenn Beck was saying the other day, 
that the uh, Nazarene fund needs more funds. I mean, it's amazing. They 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 got like thirty five million dollars from people in in about two weeks time, and they're using it. But they they need more because there were some flights that were unfortunately stopped. And we won't mention who stopped them, wouldn't allow them to fly, wouldn't let them go to nice. other countries. But but groups like the Nazarene Fund and uh, Mercury One Save Our Allies, which is Chad Robichaud and the, the Mighty Oaks Foundation, mm. who is an incredible group as well. You know, the other thing is this is this is something that the, our veterans who needed healing from trauma and who have suffered PTSD and then see this happening again. But the ones who are going over there and fighting for their friends, um, this could you know, be something that God can use as a healing experience for them as well. Um, and we're even seeing a little bit of loosening on the part of the U.S. government. You know, in, in my advocacy for persecuted Christians, I use the example from the Bible of the, the widow who pled for justice mm. from an unjust judge. And yes. um, the thing is, you know, she wanted justice and he was unjust, but you you keep pushing long enough and even an unjust judge or government will have to do the right thing because they get pressured. So um, I, I would say that that's what's happening right now and, and pray to God that it keeps happening and that all these people get out.